Hey again everyone, we're back again for another progress update on Exodus Rising. Today we're going to be covering some of the awesome things we've been up to over the past month. The market Main Street has seen a lot of attention this month, with all of the enterable buildings now having fully furnished interiors. We've completed the traversal for the main quest of this area, which has you climb through various buildings in order to get around the bandit blockades that have been set up in the street. A few optional side quests have also been added within the main street, which you can complete for various rewards. The Estates is the other area that has seen significant change over the past month. The manors in this area are now fully set dressed, both inside and outside. You may recognise the interior of this manor from our first devlog back at the end of November of last year. The main change made to the Estates, however, is most certainly the addition of the Orbitary, which now sits near the centre of the Estates, surrounded by a lake of water. Since our last devlog, we've made good progress on some of the things that we were working on at the time. The Ostrich is now fully complete and is flying in the skies of our own. As one of my favourite beasts in the game, it made me really happy that we were finally able to get it finished. We have a new animation for the free spell which we much prefer to the previous ones. We also updated the visual effects and sound effects to this spell, and so it's now feeling a lot more chilly and satisfying to use. We also updated the casting animation for Wildfire. We felt that the previous animation was too unclear, as most of the time your hands were hidden from view behind the player model. This new version spreads out the hands further, so that they're still visible in a third person perspective. The trader has also seen some updates. Originally he was going to be located in one specific place on the map, which is the area we showed off in the last devlog. We decided however that we wanted to have him located in every district, as travelling across the map just to visit the trader seemed very tedious and annoying. This gave us the idea of creating a cool looking carriage for him, to make it appear as if he's travelling between each district, rather than just being in multiple places at once. We're currently working on updating the UI and functionality for the trader, so that you can use him to buy new gear and upgrade and imbue your current gear. Here's a look at the different weapon imbues that you can apply to all of your melee weapons. We're working on allowing you to imbue your bows as well, however we currently only have the burn imbue complete. Finally, sticking with visual effects and the trader, we've also added the ability to change the flame of your lantern. This is purely a cosmetic change, but will allow you to pick the style that suits you best and light up Varan's case with something other than fire. And that's everything I have to show you guys for this month's devlog. As always, there are a ton of things that we've been working on this month that didn't make it into this video. We've been even more busy than usual lately, and we've got some really exciting things lined up to let you guys know about over the next couple of months. Be sure to stay up to date with us on Twitter so that you don't miss anything important. We'd also really appreciate sharing this video around, and consider wishlisting us on Steam if you enjoyed. Last but definitely not least, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys for your constant support of Exodus Rising, and everyone here at Titan Rock. We hit 700 followers on Twitter this month, uh, an insane number which I'm still having a little trouble comprehending. Honestly though, every new follower that we get still gives me that same awesome feeling which I had on day one, so thank you guys for taking an interest in our game, it really does mean the world to us. And with all that being said, I will catch you guys next time. Take care.